Hi, this is Norma Ross, the principal of Danbury Elementary School. Today we are going to be touring the inside and outside of our building. As you walk into our building, you would find that we have ceiling tiles that have asbestos in them. So if any abatement needs to be done, it would need to be done beforehand for any further projects. We also have our copy machines in our hallways as we have no space in any classroom or other facility within our building for these. As we enter into our guidance space, it's currently divided to be used for two adults. And due to our lack of server room, our technology is up on the ceiling and creates challenges when we need to have students working in this space. As we walk down the hallway, we will head into my office, the principal's office, which doubles as our conference room. There are chairs on the wall. This space gets transformed into the conference room. It's also utilized for testing for our students. So when that happens, the principal is not able to work in this space. As we walk through our hallway and head towards the classroom, you will see our tiles are taped down. This is due to that we haven't had an abatement done for asbestos. So in order to have these removed, we would need to have proper abatement for our hallways. In one of our classrooms, there is currently no sink for our students to be washing their hands appropriately. This room also has very limited storage, which makes it very challenging for our students to access their curriculum. We are now headed into our multi-purpose room, which we call the NPR, which is utilized for many different pieces of our school, which we will be highlighting. We are still in the multi-purpose room, and as you can see, this is our library, which is pushed to the furthest wall of our NPR. And over here, we have some supplies, which is our paper and our laminator. You've also seen a student space. These are our cafeteria tables where our students have to eat every day. This also is doubled as a working space for our specialty teachers, which would be our art teacher, our music teacher, and our information and computer technology teacher. As we continue, you notice that this is also our lunch staff and for our service for the day. And also our custodian room is in this space. We are still in the multi-purpose room and we want to highlight that for six teachers at Danbury Elementary School, this is their only supplies. While other schools are afforded an entire room, these teachers have one cabinet. Inside our building, we have no dedicated staff bathroom at this time. This bathroom is utilized for our staff. However, it is also used for students with specific needs in our building. We're about to enter into our special education room, which also provides services for speech and occupational therapy. So this room is actually functioning for three different adults on a regular basis. We are now outside in back of Danbury Elementary School where we are on the playground and as we go around the playground there is no fencing which leads to serious security and safety concerns as anybody would be able to access our playground very easily and students would also be able to exit the playground fairly quickly. Back outside, we have no bollards that prevent vehicles from entering onto our playground or getting into our building. We also have only one door to enter our building with no vestibule as a safe entrance point.